Hi kids, it's Bunny back with another junk journal. And this time it's uh, part two of Love Yourself. And this one is uh, Be Who You Want to Be, Do What You Want to Do, basically. And it's another hardback, although it's not chipboard. This time I used a thick cardboard. I ran out of chipboard. More on the way. And it has one of my favorite pictures on the front and some lace and a velvet uh, seafoam colored sash holding it together. And inside, hey, I think I'm finally getting this camera business down. So I don't have to adjust too much anymore. But inside we have um, there's a lace pocket with some journaling cards which are blank on the back so that you can write on them. Extra journaling space. There's a big tag. All the tags are also blank on the back so you can write on them. Here's um, a little mini envelope, getting a glare off that light, mini envelope that has um, some, some vintage postage cut off of a, an old envelope, uh, foreign postage, and included is my little letter to the owner of the book on what a junk journal is and ways that you can use it. And this uh, also has kind of a butterfly theme as you can see going throughout this one. And in our first tuck we see another journaling card. A big um, tag. This one has a pocket on the back with a little heart shaped journaling card and some vintage ephemera. All my ephemera is authentic. This is a war rations book. Uh, probably I guess World War II and it still has some of the coupons in it. I thought that was a neat find. Here's some vintage sheet music. Uh, songs we love. This is uh, Edith Holden out of Edith Holden book, and this is a uh, little envelope that I covered with a book page and a picture. And let's see, inside is I believe a vintage photograph of a woman and her child. All the vintage photographs are actually vintage also. And we have little clusters throughout. Here's some handmade paper, some uh, French music. I don't believe it's vintage however, but it's neat looking anyway. It's a little fabric uh, ruffle. More pretty butterflies. A little flip. This is a um, page from a vintage Creole cookbook, uh, probably from the oh, 30s, 40s, something like that. And in this pocket is uh, another journaling card and another small envelope with more uh, foreign postage in it. Very interesting to look at. And more vintage ephemera. Uh, this certifies that Anthony Berger is the owner of 300 shares of capital stock of the Belcher Extension Consolidated Mines Company. Ooh, lucky Anthony. And that's 1926. <coughs> Excuse me. 
and then there's some coffee dyed paper uh, using a doily pattern. This is a page from a vintage children's music book and I put a vellum butterfly in the center and in this tuck another journaling card. Here's another of those little heart cards and a small uh, tag doily. Um, this is more from the vintage Creole cookbook which of course had a lot of old ads in it. A little bee hidden in there. Uh, this is a little flip pup pocket. You could write a little note in there. And it has a vintage photograph of some girls at ease on the lawn. And a beautiful journaling card and a tag. Here's some more handmade paper. More Edith Holden. And of course you see I put lace on the edges of some of the papers. More vintage music, sheet music. Uh, in this pocket, it's another journaling card. And this is uh, some vintage ephemera, a ticket stub. Um, mm, I don't think I see a date. Oh, here we go, 1954 it looks like. And then this is uh, a page out of a vintage Singer sewing machine book. And the illustrations I thought were kind of neat. How to thread the bobbin. It's from the early 20th century. If not before. More pretty journaling cards. And another tag. And some copy dyed paper with a polka dot pattern. More handmade paper. Here's a little vellum bag with a vintage photograph. Nice looking lady for the winter. More Edith Holden. She did such pretty, pretty artwork. Here's a side pocket which has a miniature notebook miniature journal notebook for you to write in and a pretty journaling card. Another fabric uh, fold. There's several 3D butterflies throughout but of course they become flattened in the book but you can pop them out they look really cute. It's another vintage uh, photograph, a bunch of ladies um, at the prom or something, although they look too old for the prom, so some sort of dress-up event. This is a um, piece of uh, embroidery from uh, Sari from India. In here we have uh, more journaling cards and another tag. And here's some more pretty, pretty ladies and a tag, butterfly tag, and more vintage ephemera. This is from. 
I dropped it on the floor. <laughs> this is from the Showfield Corporation House of Service um, shirts and hose, some sort of receipt. More handmade paper. And this is vintage sheet music. There's another teeny tiny envelope. And it has uh, foreign stamps, vintage stamps in it. And another tag. This is another flip up little corner. More Edith Holden. More of the kids' uh, music book. Am I in the middle? Okay. I did a little uh, uh, embossing for the first time. Gave that a try. There's another vellum butterfly in the center of this signature. And we have more journaling cards. And this is a page from SNH Green Stamp Book from the 50s or 60s. another very pretty uh, card a little miniature envelope it has more of those uh, foreign vintage uh, stamps in it and here's another tag with a pocket on the back and here's a very pretty lady this one's lost in the flowers. And another tag and more vintage ephemera. Uh, sidewalk curb or gutter assessment notice, 1936. Have you had your gutters assessed lately? You better get on that, I think. Um, this is a... Um, belly band with a uh, another small notebook which I should have pulled out from the other side uh -huh. and it has pages for you to write on also another little pocket with a vintage photograph and more journaling cards. I really like this lady. She just has this really agreeable face. <laughs> and another small envelope with a it does have something in it, I swear. There it is. Vintage foreign postage. I hope this doesn't run out before I'm done. I'll move a little bit more quickly. Here's uh, an old cabinet photo of a mother and her children. It's a beautiful photo. And in this pocket, more of the uh, journaling cards and more ephemera <clears throat> from a hardware company. Receipt. Uh, 1922. It's another little bag with another vintage photograph. And let's move on to the 
vinyl pocket, which has a winking lady, and more pretty journaling cards. And here's an old photograph, and a tag, and another vintage, or another tiny uh, envelope. And on the back I have some more journaling cards with one with my stamp on it. And a vintage uh, a vintage ticket stub. And that's it. That's the Love Yourself Journal. All these self-confident ladies should inspire you to love yourself a little more and you can see this in my shop on Etsy thanks for watching bye bye